All right, Stanley. Time to get your fat ass up out of that crib. Big Mama's home. All right. Now you gonna get your fat ass up out of this crib yourself, or am I gonna go in the back and get the taser? I know you wouldn't. Oh, what's this, Mr. Ruffles? Come here now, get that shit out my face. All right, so what's it gonna be? So basically, I've been held captive as an adult baby for, I wanna say, over 15 years now. And you know, it, it really is a hard life. Every day's a struggle. There's no escaping this woman, especially ever since she started putting sedatives in my bottles. I just get sleepy, and she doesn't breastfeed anymore. Mm. That was the best. But yeah, I try to escape at least every day, but... I mean, she's got me on lockdown 24-7, and I... I just feel like I can never live another adult life ever again. You know, Stanley's always complaining and shit, saying his life is so hard and it's so difficult being him, but it really isn't. I take the best care of Stanley. Yeah, he's forced to be in his room all day long, but he's got toys and shit, and I know he's in that room because I have rigged the back door, and there is no escape unless he wants to blow his ass up. I have also rigged his play cage. It is electrified. Also, he can play in his room. Sometimes I let him play right on the floor with his fucking army guys, and I feed him every day. Yeah, he'll be in his room playing with Mr. Ruffles and his Legos and shit, and he'll shit his pants all day long while I read him books. And so, the man said, please, God, please, let me go or kill me. So yeah, here's where I spend most of my time. I'm forced to sleep many hours throughout the day, and it's locked up, and it's under tight security, so I haven't had the chance to escape. But hey, maybe someday I will make that escape. But until then, I'll be thinking about those titties. Mm.